for NHS treatment because they they may not even see entitlement to it themselves. And I think that shows up the hypocrisy. And to be honest, if we are this is such a big battle that we have on our hands now, I think you showed how to start and it needs to be united. I think it's fantastic what you've done today to link up the different surgeries that are under um, threat. And I think, you know, hearing from Lewisham, I've been involved in a campaign at the Whittington Hospital, and we won too. They tried to cast whole parts of the Whittington Hospital. They couldn't get away with it. So there's a lesson from that about how you do it, and we've talked about it. Number one, you have to make a noise. You do have to get on the street. You have to put all the arguments as well. But if you're not making a noise, they're not going to listen to the arguments. And so you've got to involve everybody and anybody who will stand up and fight. And you have to do it big scale. And if you do it big scale, you have the chance of winning. You certainly can't win if you don't fight. And you know how, how important it is. I mean, I think that you show today how the, the possibility of fighting and winning around here. But I think we need something bigger. We do need something that is national, that takes on government policy. And I want to see a national campaign. I'd like to see London-wide action as well. And I know there's plans for July the 5th, which is the anniversary of the NHS. But if you take action on July the 5th, you know, through London, people at the public and all our other unions, we'll try and make sure that that is backed by other people in London and that it isn't just left to you to fight over this. The only other thing I want to say is, to me, there's some other good news from today, because there were local protests outside hospitals up and down the country today, because health workers have been taking action over their pay freeze. And actually, if we want a decent health service, we want health workers to be paid a decent wage. And I think if health workers, there's two there's talk of balancing the strike action by health workers over their pay, and that may not seem to be the same issue, but to me, if one of the weaknesses of our campaigns over the last little while is that health workers haven't had, they've been too scared to fight that. And I think if health workers are getting up and standing up and saying what's happening to the NHS is wrong, then that's going to make us all stronger because we have to unite. Make sure we're not divided and bring people together from the community, services and hospital, people who are in work, people who are unemployed, and you know, the unions, everybody. And if we do that, we have to fight for the NHS when we've got this. And if we have a fight, we have to have to fight to make sure we still got this. Good luck.